Hello and welcome to the Soft Cookie Age Regression Podcast. I'm your host, Soft Cookie, and today our special guest is Galaxy. Hello there, I'm glad to be here. Alright, Galaxy, let's talk about what got you into age regression. It, it's kind of a weird question for me because I don't remember exactly um, like when I got into it, but I remember I found a few um, you know Tumblr blogs about it um, back in like September, I think, mm-hmm. and I just thought it was really cool, and you know I thought it was cute, and I thought that you know the aesthetics were really nice to the eye, and like everybody seemed like really nice there, so you know I decided you know why not? You're like let me into there. Yes. <laughs> Give me a piece of that one. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a bedtime? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> because my ADHD butt will not. <laughs> That's relatable. I mean, well, when I'm in, like, school and stuff, I tend to go to bed at the same time. But if it's, like, summer or something, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a bedtime. Like, I used to go to bed at, like, 8 or 10. All right, so your next question is, do you believe in magic? Yes, I do, actually. (laughs) What kind of magic? I believe in, like, witchcrafty sort of stuff, you know? Like, I believe in, like, energies and stuff like that. I believe, like, you know, like, things can have, like, magical energy. I believe, I I really like crystals, like, even just as, like, an aesthetic sort of thing. Yeah. And that's not my point, but, you know, like, like, that sort of stuff, like, um... And, you know, like, crystals and herbs and all those kind of, like, little magical doohickeys and stuff. (laughs) Magical doohickeys, I love it. (laughs) Yeah, that's interesting. I noticed, like, a lot of age regressors are also into witchcraft and paganism. Yeah, paganism. Um, think about paganism. Um, that's actually, like, a religion, and it's different from witchcraft. Oh, okay. Um, but, you know, a lot of witchcrafty stuff are associated with paganism, so that's where that comes from. Okay, all right. Little pagan babies. <laughs> I'm not pagan myself, I'm Christian, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's whatever. I, um, on my old blog that I used to have, I used to follow a Catholic witch. She would always Ooh. post some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, there is a bit of uh, Catholic magic to be had. Um, interestingly enough, I've I've actually dabbled in a bit regarding like sort of like angelic sort of stuff. Um, I know that sounds kind of holier than that, ironically enough, but you know, no, it's kind of like the no. idea that you know angels are among us and you know their energies are present, and if we have the right resources and the right you know ways of going about it, we can tap into that energy. I guess that's so interesting. I was like one of my friends, uh, Danny. He's currently pretty into angels and stuff Ooh. like that, and he just recently. Um, made a what's your aesthetic quiz thing and i took oh, it cool. and mine was like dripping in gold and an angelic Ooh, that and sounds it, really cool it was really cool and all the pictures and stuff but I, I i i really like angels i think they're pretty neat like i like um you know this stereotypical feathery beautiful angels but then i also like the um historically accurate ones like the oh eldritch beans Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're both equally as cool. Yeah. All right. Here's a big one. This is... Oh, boy. This is... All right. Ready for this one? <clears throat> yeah. I think so. Is Santa real? Uh-huh. Well, um, let's just say I know that answer from coming of age, but I like to believe in, like, the kind of, you know, sort of, like, a childlike magic of it all, like, the wonder of it, I guess. Of, like, you know, Christmas Eve and, like, you know... Like, come on, like, most kids aren't even able to sleep on Christmas Eve. I know I wasn't. <laughs> um, in regards to Santa Claus, do you, did you, um, did your family ever celebrate St. Nicholas? Uh, as in, like, the more sort of religious figure? Yes. Um, no, not really. I mean, you know, like I said, we're Christians, but we're not, like, super religious. In fact, I don't think I've been to church in, like, nearly a decade. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. Were you brought up Catholic? Uh, yeah, I was. Um, because I know my family, we celebrate St. Nicholas. We um, we kind of celebrate Christmas, but we focus more on St. Nicholas Day. That makes sense. So we'd have, like, a guy dress up in, like, the uh, classic St. Nicholas outfit and then come over oh, with, really? like, yeah, chocolate coins and give them to the kids. Because I, I have a big family. I, I grew up in oh. a family of 14, so oh, yeah. it was a big party. Oh, wow. But, <laughs> but yeah, so we, we always celebrated St. Nicholas Day and it was pretty nice. radical. Cool. I have a fairly big family myself, but that's on, like, my cousins and stuff. 
I mostly just grew, grew up with my parents and my twin sister, so that's cool. Oh, okay. What makes you sad when you're small? That's kind of a hard one, because I mostly, like, like, what's the term? Like, I regress in my head. Um, that's that thing. I know there's a name for it, but I forget it. So, um, and normally I'm on, like, Tumblr when I, when I do, like, because I choose to do it, and... You know, either that or I'm watching some kitty cartoons or stuff, so... I'm not really sure if I have an answer for that. Yeah, no, I don't think there's a lot of things... Well, because I'm more of an age dreamer, so I don't like... Yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the term I was looking for. So, like, um, I put myself in that headspace to help me from being sad, so I, I can't yeah, think yeah, of something yeah, exactly. that would, like, make me sad when I'm doing this thing specifically that's supposed to cheer me up, so it's just kind of like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. I'd suppose, like, um stuff that would make me sad would be like stuff that would make me sad when i'm big like just people being me and be like yeah kind of take me out of the take me out of the headspace but nothing like yeah specifically that would like mm-hmm. uh, be a little thing i don't know <laughs> i yeah. can't i can't use the words okay so what are some of your favorite community things well i mean i i just really like it when people show what makes like you know, age regression special to them and showing like all their sort of gear, or just kind of like what shows they like to watch, what, you know, kind of characters or stuff they like, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like... And, you know, like, you know, the aesthetics and, you know, because, you know, you just feel so like warm and fuzzy when you look at some of them and it's just really a nice feeling. Yeah. I love like the little mood boards. Especially... Yeah. Yeah. Those are, to- those are totally cool. Especially when they're like specific to the person, like they'll have like their aesthetic, their favorite character. And, like, I don't know, just stuff that makes it specifically for them, not just, like, a general yeah. thing that anybody could have. It's like, I like seeing that. It's like glimpsing into somebody else's mind. Um, are there any age regression blogs that you like? I mean, I mostly just kind of wander around the community, if that makes sense. But um, one uh, b- uh, blog I really like is called Big Sister Paka. And she's basically, like, a sort of big sister blog and offers, like, you know, just kind of suggestions, advice, and comfort and that sort of thing. And, you know, it just kind of puts a smile on my face whenever I see a post of hers because, you know, she, she just has, like, a really calming and co- cozy little blog. So, Oh, yeah. I'm cool. very familiar with her blog. I love her. Um, she actually helped me get my blog started. Um, oh that's so cool yeah my big sib draws like oh yeah yeah yeah. when i first started it out i like messaged her i was like hey just can you help me get the word out that people can come here and ask for me to draw stuff <laughs> and so it was extremely helpful i'm really glad she did that i know like a lot of people like having you be like oh can you shout me out is kind of like annoying for them it's just like it's my yeah. blog let me do what i want but yeah. it's like i totally understand it and i get that but i'm i'm really glad she was able to help me out and she's really really yeah. sweet i might have actually found your blog that way <laughs> i don't remember exactly it was a while back but yeah i think i might have uh what are some things you'd like to see more of in the community um let me think about that uh i'm not sure if i have an answer for that either i'm sorry but are there things you'd like to see less of or things in the community that you find to be troubling? I'm sure people for this time and time again, but I don't like it when people are like, oh, you don't do this, or oh, you do this, you can't be a part of this community, get out. And, like, if it's, like, a specific community, then I understand that, but it, like, if it's just for, like, someone like age regression, which is, like, ridiculously, you know, general, mm-hmm. it's, like, what's the point in doing that? Now, if it's, like, I, also, if it's somebody who's, you know, just being really mean and being, like, being hateful for no reason, then I understand, but, you know, if it's just somebody who is just doing their own thing and, you know, maybe is just, you know, posting something that maybe you don't understand or, you know, just sort of something that, you you know, you don't vibe with and you know like what's the point of saying like you know i don't like what you're posting leave instead of just leaving them alone like i think it could be like say for instance um somebody's blog they have like a bunch of like 70s music and you're like what does that have to do with age regression you shouldn't be like posting it that's like in age regression but it's like what if that kind of music reminds them of their childhood and helps them yeah exactly so not not everybody's really good example experiences are like all the same i was just thinking about that while i was at work i was like Hmm. like a lot of a lot of things could help people regress especially like which time period which time period like the middle ages um (laughs) like they were born so it's like specific stuff reminding them of their childhood and it could be like yeah a bunch of different things um yeah you're right about the music because uh you know, I like to listen to songs to like from like the early 2000s and stuff like that to get nostalgic and stuff and it reminds me of my childhood. And, you know, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 
Like, I've been um, re-listening to one of my favorite bands of all time. So I've just been, like, going through the albums while I'm at work and just, like, binging it. And it's just, like, it's making yeah. me super nostalgic, too. And I'm just like, wow. I know. <laughs> music is amazing. Wow. So what kind of bands exactly. do you like? Well, um, I might be a bit mainstream here, but um, one band that gets me in the feels every single time is AJR. Adam, Jack, and Ryan. Oh, okay. They're the Met Brothers, specifically. And I don't think I've ever heard of them. Well, their songs are um, fairly popular, but I, I can understand that. Their, their stuff is just, it just hits in a certain way, man. <laughs> <laughs> it just hits that it just hits that spot. Also, I've been listening to their stuff for, like, years now, so. Do you have any, like, playlists that you have that you listen to? It's weird. I'm kind of weird because, like, I don't really have, like, playlists as per se. I just eat, like, you normally, like, go on YouTube and just, like, listen to whatever song strikes the mood, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I usually go on YouTube, but I'll have, like, playlists set up, or I'll ask my friends to make playlists. I'm, like, really yearning for some new playlists, because I, like, binge them while I'm at work, so I've, like, gone through all the ones that I have several, several times. Yeah. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> all right, and now it's time for your special interest segment. Oh, boy. Take it away. Okay, so, um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Pokemon. We all know what Pokemon is. I've been Pokemon since 2010, actually, so it's been, like, 10 years now. I grew up playing it, and my sister liked it, and we had a friend who really liked it, and we got another friend into it, and it was really cool. Um, you know, I grew up with the games, I grew up with the anime, and, you know, I eventually found the community for it, and, you know, I, one of my favorite games is Pokemon X and Y, which came out in 3DS in 2013. I just remember the morning, like, I was 10 at the time, and I just remember going downstairs, and, you know, it was a Saturday, I think, and I would just get my shoes on, and we're gonna go to GameStop to get it, and I just remember how freaking excited I was about it. I, I love, like, those, like, um memories that just like get you really good but it's like you remember those specific things like how you were tying your shoes or just like mm -hmm. how your hand reaches out for the keys it's like you remember those moments because you're like this is it here we go boys that's it exactly okay cool <laughs> what's your favorite pokemon um okay that's a hard one because they kind of switch um a few i have right now um Silvalli, raichu decidui lucario uh dialga uh, Garatina, and I can just go on, but that's a few of them. I really like, um, Puchiana. I think that's my Puchiana, yes. Puchiana's adorable. Precious child. Yes, little bean. But Mighty Anna's really cool, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and aside from Pokemon, um, there was a game called Hogwarts Mystery, which came out a couple of years ago. I'm is, not sure if you heard of that. Is that on the phone? Yeah. Interestingly enough, um, I have a bit of a story. No, it's not too long. So, I remember when it came out, it kind of got a lot of it got a bit of attention, and a lot of people were like, oh no, this is a bad game because it makes you... And I agree, like, the energy system that uses, or, like, the general play system that uses, isn't that great. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I still like the game anyway, and I remember, like, in August of 2018, um, I remember my sister started playing it, and she's like, oh yeah, you should try this out, it's kind of fun. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'll, I'll check it out, I'll, I'll, you know. And then it just, I, I got, like, addicted to it, because it's so freaking faithful to, like, the books and the movies and, like, in that kind of universe. And if you don't know, it takes place, like, ten years before Harry Potter came to Hogwarts, so, oh. you know, you kind of fill the role of the protagonist, and you have to solve this mystery at Hogwarts, hence the title. Um, of mm -hmm. these cursed vaults and stuff, and you gotta- Oh, also, your brother went missing, so you gotta find him, because he's related to that or something. I'm at year five right now, because it goes through, like, years and, like, the stuff, and- That sounds so um, cool, what the heck? It is really cool, um, but like I said, um, it's kind of a commitment of a game, I guess, because, like I said, I mean, I have taken a bit of- a few breaks here and there, but I've been playing semi-ish consistently, and I'm at year five. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, the whole energy system and stuff, which is, as I said before, the main complaint of it, but I still really like the game, I still really like the characters, I still really like the story, and it's it's actually, it's just, to me, it's really, really cool. How does the energy system work? Basically, you have a set amount of energy. When you're doing, like, say, a class or something, mm -hmm. like, you, you, you um, use your energy points to, you know, do the tasks and stuff like that, and then, you know, at some point your energy runs out, and you can, you, you, either wait for it to replenish and i feel like people would feel a lot better about this if it didn't take four minutes for one point to restore okay 
So it's like yeah. that typical phone thing. Yeah, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, it, it's totally viable to, to wait, but look at me now. <laughs> but I intend to stick with it, and I intend to complete it, because, dang it, I want to see how the story ends. I want to see how this thing unfurls. So you're big into Harry Potter? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, like, aside from Hogwarts Mystery, I've been into Harry Potter since I was 11, ironically mm. enough. Interestingly enough, I only read, like, up to the third book and then a little bit of the fourth book, but then I stopped because ADHD. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> big mood. Yeah. I've watched up to the fifth movie, and I've seen snippets of the last three. And, two, um, just as a mark of how wonderful my reading comprehension was, for, like, the first quarter of the book... Uh, the first book. I thought Hermione was placed in Slytherin, de- genuinely. Oh my goodness. Until, until I realized she wasn't. And I do not know why I thought that. But my 11-year-old brain cannot comprehend things. Reading comprehension. <laughs> Whack. Um, my reading comprehension is, is pretty, pretty, pretty terrible, too. It took me, like, a whole year. I think almost two years to read the first Harry Potter book. And then I got stuck on the second one and never made it past it. Yeah. My sister tried to read the first one, and she couldn't figure out what was going on either. It's like, but I can really, really like a series. Like, The Lord of the Rings, the first book, I I, um, I got, like, yeah, all the way to the end, except for, like, the last two pages, and I really liked it, like, the whole way through. Yeah. And then I got to the last couple of pages, and I was like, can't read anymore. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. I'm like, no, can't read anymore. And I was like, come on, yeah, man, I... we're almost there. Nope, can't read yeah. anymore. <laughs> I know how that is, because um, I had a Wings of Fire phase um, three years ago, and, yo, I could finish, like, one book in, like, a, in, like two two days. Mm-hmm. And they were normally, like, about 200 pages long, so I just, like, hyper-fixated and sped-read through that. And there were ten books in the series at the time, so I managed to just fly through those. Mm-hmm. But then I just kind of fell out of the fandom because, you know, I just wasn't interested in it anymore, but it's still really cool. You still hold it hold it dear to your heart? Yep. I, I feel that way about a lot of things. Like, um, my favorite superhero is Blue Beetle, and, like, I first got introduced to him through, like, Young Justice. And when Ooh. I found out about him, I, like, downloaded every single comic that he was in and, like, like i don't know i just like anything that like had him for even just a brief second i would read up on it and i would just like read through the wiki and i would just read everything just power through it and i i can't i can't see myself doing that anymore but like for him i had to do it i had to do it for the blue guy yeah i'm looking at him now and he looks really cool god i love him so much he reminds me a little tiny bit of like venom actually you know what um same kind of same kind of idea like the thing that makes him armored and stuff it's uh yeah an alien. he's like a yeah like a like the way that the symbiotes or like what venom is like they kind of encapsulate the powers suddenly oh yeah for sure <laughs> well that's really cool i really like the relationship between them two because jaime um blue beetle he explains like a lot of earth concepts to kashida who's the alien and it's just really ah. nice and wholesome, and they formed this bond, and I really love it. Yeah, that really reminds me of uh, Venom, yeah. which I saw the movie for in 2018. And I'm not very much of a comics person, but I really like the movie, so I'm very hyped for Venom too. I know, me too, me too, me too. Yay! I'm not super into Marvel, but there is, like, specific, like, things yeah, that I they have that I do like. But I, I do really like X-Men. That's um, what I I'm... grew up reading was the X-Men comics. But I, d- I don't know that much about Avengers, but I fully support my friends who adore Avengers. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, I don't I know whack about the series, but all I know is Thanos does the snap and then half the world disappears. But, you know, and Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, yes, that was meme to insanity. But I don't know. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> I don't understand how the whole snap thing, like how he thought that idea was good because he got rid of the resources too i don't know yeah it didn't make a lot of sense to me but he just like i guess he just wanted social distancing yes absolutely like okay (laughs) thanos all right so what are some other things you're into well i'm really into like nintendo and stuff pokemon is just kind of like the spearhead of that well as for like interest and stuff like that i remember playing a lot of mario oh oh, also i played a bunch of animal crossing as a kid i was like a humongous animal crossing fan i still kind of am yeah like i played a whole bunch of like wild world back in the day which was the game that came out in the ds again i've had that game for like 10 years and it still works like a charm i visited it i revisited it the um other night and it was cool and i also i recently got um new horizons yes which 
I play a lot with my sister, so that's really fun. It's I really love it. I'm really excited. I hope uh, for Brewster to come because I really miss. Oh <gasps> yes, I, really I know. Like, him. why isn't Brewster in the game? Somebody said he was gonna be in the game because Clay mentioned him. I feel like there's there there could be hope for him in DLC and stuff like that because remember they add like Red and a bunch of other people. Yeah. In yeah. this like newest patch or update or whatever. Yeah, and I'm really happy about that. I was worried. I was like, man, they got rid of a lot of stuff, but it's like, no, it, it seems like they're yeah. just slowly reintroducing it in, which I like, because it's like, ooh, yeah. more surprises. And, you know, like, the team says they plan to, like, have, like, updates and stuff for, like, a very long time, so I'm really excited for that. That makes me so happy, because I'm, I'm I the know. kind of person who loves surprises. So. Same. Yes. I, I don't understand my friends who are like, don't ever surprise me or I'll I'll unfriend you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, why you do this? <laughs> like, I understand it's like the fear factor. Not the fear yeah, factor. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, I get that. But, but yeah. But it's, like, it's Animal Crossing. So what nice. is there to fear? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. Tally Except knows. tarantulas. Oh my gosh. You know, my I... My sister's caught like two of them already. I've only had tarantulas on, like, the first night, and I've never had them since. Like, I, I haven't encountered anymore. Big oof. And then there's my sister who's catching freaking tarantulas and or fishes and all this rare stuff. And I'm like, where? Well, how? My partner caught a celiacanth or whatever it is. The Something camp, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, those are pretty rare. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think he caught, like, three or two of them. Wow. Like, My sister has, like, like, three freaking or fish, and it's, like, insane. I'm sure she has them on display, too. Like, mm, look at these. These are my little friends. <laughs> yeah. The, the Animal Crossing games that I've played, I played... The first one that I played was New Leaf, and then I played um, City Folk. And Oh, City Folk. I've heard of that. Yeah. And then Happy Home Academy. I, I, I don't understand the flack of that um, one, yes. I know it's not technically a main series game. It's a spinoff, and it was marketed as a spinoff, but I, I think it's a cute little game. I think it stands very well on its own. Like, I think it's great. Because, like, I don't know, I love that kind of thing where it's just, like, you have a job. Like, when I first played um, City Folk, Tom Nook had you work at the store and, like, deliver things to people. And I was like, this is awesome. I work for Nook. I have a job here. And, like, I have a uniform and everything. And I thought it was going to be, like, a main thing in the game. But then it was like, no, that's just for the tutorial. And I was like, dang. But now I'm like, um... Uh, little side note, um, I, in Wild World, um, I didn't know that I had to complete a tutorial because, again, I was seven and I didn't read stuff. And then my friend, who also played the game, was like, you don't have to do stuff for him, right? And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interestingly enough, also, I think I initially made my player character a boy for some reason. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I, like, I must have deleted it and then made a girl character. And I don't know, it's very blurry, but eh. It's, it was still cool. I really love that they just, like, said, um, they, them rights for New Horizons. What's your style? Yo, this is my style. This don't, is my style. Like, don't stick on my style. Don't, my style. Eyebrows on fleek. The heck? And <laughs> I really love the aspect that you can just change it whenever. That's just, like... I know. It's Like, great. my sister and I first found out it, cause, um, like, I knew you could do that, but I didn't know you could do it, like, on the fly like that. Like, we were visiting one of our villagers' um, houses, and she had, um, a mirror, and she just looked at it, and we could just, like, change you know your appearance of your character just like that and that was just so dang cool did you know that you can pick up your mailbox and move it okay good <laughs> um, actually thank you for telling me that because I'm, i planted some freaking bushes near my house and they look uneven because my freaking mailbox is right there yeah no you can just pick it up and move it thanks for telling me that <laughs> no problem when i found that i was like what the heck what? <laughs> Nunny. <laughs> Nunny. <laughs> oh, do you like any anime? I'm not a huge anime person. I did have an anime phase, like, years ago because, you know, 13 or 12, what 12-year-old 12 doesn't. Mm -hmm. But, um, aside from the Pokemon anime and, like, a bunch of, like, Nintendo animes and, like, other random stuff, uh, I can't say there's any, like, one specific anime I, like, really like. Um, I did have a Naruto phase, mm -hmm. uh, like, years ago. Which was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember having, like, um, Naruto OCs and stuff like that. <gasps> yeah, so did I. Oh my gosh. It was, I don't know. I find stuff like that just lovely. It's just great. And I know, like, when I was, like, having my little daydreams about Naruto with my little characters, <gasps> yeah. it, it was just, like, some of the most relaxing times for me. Um, I had a crush on Kiba for some reason. Um, 
every like everybody had a crush on Sasuke, but I had a crush on Kiba. I really had a crush on Gara. <gasps> Gara, yes, I can totally see that. And Gaara his really sister. Cool. <gasps> yes. Um, shoot. You also... I also thought Ten Ten was uh, was kind of nice looking. Um, it sucks because you know, like she's one of those background characters that just, just kind of faded into underutilized. Um, the only person of that team, I forget what team, what they were called, but the only person on that team that be- had any relevance, Neji, who, if I'm right, I think he ended up dying. Or something. In Shippuden, yeah. Like, he, he, yeah, in Shippuden. He died in the original Naruto, and then they brought him back to life, and then I think he died again in Shippuden. Yeah, um, I watched all the original Naruto, and then I watched, like, a tiny little bit of Shippuden, because I didn't really have anywhere reliable to watch it. Mm-hmm. I watched it on YouTube, actually, and then it got taken down, because copyright obviously and then that's kind of just where i fell out of it because i can't continue it so yeah mm-hmm. and i didn't know about like communities back then so it was just kind of i just kind of left yeah i i i'm kind of on the same boat with ship it in but like i kind of um i don't know it kind of like was boring to me i'm sorry to anybody who likes ship it in i don't mean to like yeah. um uh, dunk on you or anything but i personally yeah no i totally yeah. get that but um i remember what's it like four years ago I went on YouTube and I was like, I specifically Googled in like a Shippuden fight compilation just so I could mm-hmm. see if there was like any epic battles and I didn't really like any of them. I was sad. It yeah, was... I kind of get that. And, um, oh, ju- this just came to me. Um, another anime that I had a big phase of, Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. I oh. never like properly watched Dragon Ball. I just kind of spoiled myself the whole thing because I was like, 11 and i didn't I, I didn't care but my friend got me into it um a guy friend he, he had a video game of it and i'm like what the hecky heck is this and he's like i'll show you so i got into dragon ball at that point and it was pretty cool i, I watched a bunch of uh, clips on it, of it on youtube and then i just kind of pieced together the storyline from there i guess i don't mm-hmm. know yeah i really I love just... baby goku he makes me so happy <gasps> yes oh my god he was so cute chunky dunk yeah, my, my sister also kind of got into it a bit as well. I remember playing a Dragon Ball Xenoverse um, on my Xbox, which I had uh, five years ago. Ooh. And uh, that was really cool. I created a little character and stuff, so that was cool. And then later on, um, last year actually, I got Xenoverse 2 for the Switch. And um, that was really fun. I completed the main campaign for that, but there's a post-game, which I've yet to get. Um, have you ever played, like, the Final Fantasy series? Um, as much as I want to get into, like, RPGs, like Final Fantasy and... Blade and stuff like that. My ADHD brain is like, okay, we can't focus on this, and so, and so, bleh. yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I mean, I think they're really awesome series, and I can completely understand where, like, you know, how pop. I mean, I personally just because focus and all that, I can't get into really. Oh yeah, I know. Like when I was younger, it was a lot easier to get into them, so now they hold a very special place in my heart, but. I think right now, if I were to try and do something like that, I couldn't do it because ADHD yeah, brain. And that's, yeah, exactly. Especially with, like, Kingdom Hearts. Like, I've wanted to get into Kingdom Hearts for a long time, but there's, like, so much going on. I don't think I could keep up anymore. Well, that's the thing about Kingdom Hearts is that uh, nobody can keep up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I remember, what's it, that was, like, the first game that we had gotten for the PlayStation 2. And so, like, me, my brother, my sister, we all, like, played it together. And oh, cool. So we would all, like, work on the same character and, like, grind on it and do all this stuff. So we'd, like, just um, change between the three of us. So it was, like, it was, like, team building exercise or something. But it was really awesome. awesome. But, like, I would um, level up the character, like, as, as far as you could take him. And then... yeah. This was before I found out about YouTube, but I would <laughs> always um, finish, like, I'd beat the boss over and over again just so I could listen to the ending song. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I really loved it, and I'd, like, I'd go through all the stages of beating this boss just so I could get to the song so I could, like, put the controller down and, like, dance around to it. So I'd, like, just oh, keep yeah. having to kill this boss. It takes, like, an hour or something. <laughs> That was me with, like, Kid Icarus and this one character, Dark Pit, who I had a gigantic crush on. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a theme that was, like, so fire. I would just, because there's an option to, like, listen to music in the game. And so I would just, like, play it on car rides and then, like, turn it up full volume. And I'm like, you hear that, Mom? The best game, uh, song in the game. And she's like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where your love of angels comes from? Eh, kind of. I just like Kid Icarus as the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever played that. You should. It's an awesome freaking game. I would, but then ADHD. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a particularly long game, mm. and it's more like a standalone. It's more like a reboot than anything, but I mean, you know, it's whatever. But yeah, so you really like video games and Pokemon and Animal Cross. Well, Animal Crossing is video game, but yeah, but more specifically, an a video game series. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what it was. I remember what. Did you ever play Ultimate Ninja? Um, no, I don't think so. It is a Naruto game for the PS2. Oh wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think so. That slaps. Like me, my sister, and my brother, we were like a trio, like in in insufferable trio and oh yeah we would play video games together we do all this stuff together we go on adventures together and oh yeah that's me and my sister we always play yeah so we'd always play like ultimate ninja together and like mm -hmm. try out the moves on each other and be like yo how'd you do that move be like hmm, i'll never tell <laughs> my first exposure to naruto before i even got into it because i remember in late 2015 i was at my friend's house and we just kind of played it. Um, I'm like, okay, th these are cool guys, I guess. And I, I don't know. I think you might have explained it to me, but I don't remember. I remember it was Sasuke a lot, and because I thought his lightning moves were cool. Mm -hmm. So, and originally I pronounced it Suzuki because mm -hmm. I didn't know <laughs> the actual pronunciation. Sasuke. Sasuke. I saw. Um, oh, it's somebody did a drawing. It was um, uh, Sasu. Sasuke E-Boy. I want to see um, Sasuke on TikTok right now. Yes. I keep, like, downloading and then uninstalling the Talk Tick app from my phone. <laughs> talk Tick. Talk Tick. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I did a bunch of talks um, back in, like, September of last year, but I just fell out of it because motivation is really fun. Oh yeah, it's it's wavering. Indeed, it ebbs and it flows. Lately, Most I've been certainly. I've been having a pretty good time with motivation because I'm working on like a bunch of projects right now that I'm really like into. Usually, I nice. find I work better with projects if other people are into them too. If like no. I don't have like a bunch of people who are also into it, I just like really lose interest. I'm just like, oh okay, might as well not then, I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm actually working on a project myself. I'm trying to write a book. Um, it's kind of like heavy themed sort of novel. Do you have like a brief summary? Uh, it's about this kid named Elijah or Eli and he lives in New York, but it's after like global warming and stuff. It, it's just kind of like his journey of like, you know, realizing the state of growing up and leaving stuff behind and things like that. Like a coming of age story kind of? Yeah, 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 that sort of. That sounds pretty nice. All right, I think that about covers it. So, um, do you have anything you wanted to plug? No, not really. Not really? <laughs> like, not your blog <laughs> or anything? Uh, no, but I am a Snuggly Pink Blankets um, on uh, friggin' Tumblr, so that's me. All right, well, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. No problem, it's been really fun. All right, peace out, kiddos. Bye.